today we're going to be reviewing my stay at the Sheraton Princess Kairolani. So as you can see here, you know, it's a massive building, pretty intimate setting. This is the view of the pool, as you can see, going into the lobby. The pool is not the biggest pool, it's kind of intimate, but it is not too overpacked and too overrun. Remind you, this is during COVID, as you can see. Now, just going through the lobby, I love the light fixtures. I posted some more pictures, even on my Instagram, of the chandelier, which was in another part of this area. But as you can see, it's pretty empty. As you can expect, the lines weren't super long during check-in. I was able to go straight to the front without having to go to the Marriott uh, Brilliant, or I should say Platinum section. It got a little busy during the middle of the day, but otherwise it wasn't too long of a wait. As you can see, they have an activity section. This is the front where you pull up for valet parking. And now I'm going back towards the pool area. As you can see, they have a little pond here with some koi fish. There's actually a giant cat looking koi fish in there as well. You can see it a little bit. And it's probably three times the size of the other koi fish in there. But um, yeah, it has a little river. It's pretty nice looking as you can see. Keep going. As you can see right there, it's the splash bar. They have a bar somewhat close to the pool and it's not exactly at the pool but it is there some seating area for the bar if you want to get food or just have a meeting you can sit down there without ordering anything and then there's the breakfast right there another lounge area they have a computer they have outlets those chairs are super heavy they're pretty comfortable though a printer there for you this is a good enough space. I think the most I've seen was three people at a time, but then there's a TV. Not sure if you can control the TV, but you have one in your room that you can control. Coming down the steps, going back to this area, which is just some artwork. I think there's a meeting room in there. And then there's another meeting room. There's some more artwork here, some old, not old, wooden rocking chairs as well. A table, I think you can have a meeting there, and some jewelry. Coming down this way, I'm going to take you to the open area for the other side of the bar where you can sit down, have a meal, do some work, be under an umbrella, but out in the wind, they have some tiki's there. There's a show right to the guess left side of where i'm at right now where they do performances and now i'm in the other lobby area there's two lobbies this was good because they had a drinking water fountain which is actually sourced from the spring source which is pretty good and then now i'm finally going up to the hotel room you know they have that sheraton carpet it's not the fanciest looking carpet but hey it's not about the hotel um, walkway it's about the room actually and now I'm opening to the room the bathroom is a decent sized bathroom nothing super special the room we decided to get double beds because if you're a platinum member or Marriott Bonvoy member it's actually easier to upgrade if you have a double room instead of a king room so we booked a double bed still enough space on the queen beds for both of us and now this is the view partial city view a view of the pool as well and then of the ocean beautiful ocean nice bright blue and then this is the welcome package i got from the sheraton so the sheraton when you check in as a maria bonvoy member you actually get your choice of at this location at least you get your choice of a welcome package which is that bag right there or you can get breakfast which is a muffin and coffee i believe and then the last one, I forgot what it is. It might be 500 points. But as you can see, the welcome gift is a lot better and has more value because those Hawaiian treats are more expensive than the breakfast or anything else. So I would advise you, if they give you the welcome bag, get the welcome bag. And then now is the view of the fitness center. It is actually a pretty good fitness center. It has a lot of treadmills has dumbbells up to i believe 60 pounds and about three benches that are adjustable 
has about six treadmills if i'm guessing i couldn't i didn't count and then it has ellipticals it has a lot of ellipticals more ellipticals than treadmills actually over here are some cables mats and then i think a box this hotel has a few activities and i decided to do beach view yoga and that is it for my hotel walkthrough right now it's going to be a random assortment of videos and pictures around honolulu overall i think the hotel was great i think we paid about 130 dollars but because we are brilliant bonvoy members with amex we got that credited back i would probably go to this hotel again even though the westin is across so i might want to check that out but overall, I think Honolulu might be a little bit overrated. Let me know what you think. I think compared to islands like DR and Puerto Rico, it didn't feel that idly. But let me know what you think about the Sheraton or Honolulu, whether you've been there or you just watched the video.